Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How are you? Good evening, chair. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hey, hello, hello. I'm fine. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? It was great. I usually play softball because oh. of the federation. Oh, when nice. To see me, how do I play? Oh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> you had a good time. Very good, very good. All yes, right, welcome. Do. Welcome back, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, who can tell me what you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember from the previous class? Do you remember anything from the previous class? In the previous class, we finished the midterm exam. Uh, today, we are going to start the next section, which is going to be section number 4.0. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. Let's listen to the video. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn Can everybody hear? We're talking about things Can everybody that hear? hate to do. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, one, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so let's look at the examples. The first example says, eh, I have to do laundry every weekend. I have to do laundry every weekend. So if I use have, have to, that means that it is something that is your obligation. It's something that you have to do. You don't have a choice. Uh, for example, you say, I have to pay the bills. I have to pay the bills. Or negative, I don't have to pay the bills, right? Or you can also say, for example, um, I have to, I have to stand in line at the bank. Or in the negative, I don't have to stand in line at the bank. So I want you to give me at least five examples positive and five examples negative. And I want you to write the examples over here. 
at the bottom in the discussion box. You are going to work with a partner and you are going to write the examples. Any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Not teacher. Okay, no all right, ready, let's go. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and I will come help you. Five examples, negative and five examples, positive. Ready, let's go. What, uh, what time, teacher? You oh. will have fi five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes, okay, thank you. Work in pairs, work in pairs. Y, eh, que estaba allá, pero ya aquí. Hagamos las oraciones. Pues. Okay. ok. El modelo es I have to I have to mi el complemento. I have to do laundry every day. Almost every day. Okay. Yo puse I have to pay the electric Bill. Ajá. Yo tengo un problema con el I hate porque en lugar de poner uh, que lo odio, a mí me encanta hacer la lavar la ropa en la, pero en la lavadora. Ah. <risa> Yo le tengo esto una I have to wash watch dishes 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 dishes. Fíjese que yo no sé si soy un hombre hacendoso, pero a mí me relaja lavar los platos. Así que difícil decir que lo odio. <ríe> Pásenme no. sus platos, los vamos a lavar. <ríe> eh, eh, ¿Sabe qué he escuchado que la gente odia? Planchar. Eh, do, no sé cómo sería planchar. Es iron. Iron. Teacher es iron. No está teacher, ¿no? Ya, yeah, no, right no. here. Iron es plancha, teacher. Iron es plancha y iron también puede, quiere decir planchar. Ah, planchar, ok. I have to... Y, I hacer pla y, y planchar sería do, do iron o cómo? No, ahí sería I have to... Iron I, clothes. I have... Uh -huh. I have to iron. No. I have to iron... Eh, digamos, my uniform. Oh, no. okay. I have to iron my uniform. Y en the negative, I don't have to iron my uni uniform. Teacher, lo voy a aprovechar ahorita que anda por acá. Disculpe. Ya. Yeah. Este... ¿Cómo dice levantar el garrafón del agua cristal? Eso sí lo odio. Uh, pick up the water bottle. Pick up, pick up. Pick up the water bottle. Como un pick up. Uh -huh. okay. I have to pick up the water bottle. The water bo bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> Are you guys practicing? 
early. Mm -hmm. I have to get early. I hate it. I don't have to Are you are you finished? Did you finish? Did you finish? terminaron? No, teacher. ¿No han terminado? No. Oh, okay. No, falta Ovidio. Ovidio. Uh -huh. Solo una nos mandó. Yeah, he has to. Quiero, quiero ver algo, quiero ver algo. Sí. Sí, pero en este caso para he y she y sería he has. He has, she he has. has. El have ah, es más ah, para he has. I have, uh -huh. you have. He has to do sería entonces. O... Eh, sería, sería he has y por ejemplo he has um, worked in the year in the year sorry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. O por ejemplo he has he has called her mother. Oh, no perdón his mother. Uh -huh. His mother. Pues, <laughs> Y de negativo sería en negativo, por ejemplo, I don't have, I don't have to uh, travel to work, por ejemplo. I don't, have, I don't have to, entonces, ¿verdad? I don't have to. O, o I had to, to don't. Eh, sí, sería siempre I don't have. Uh, okay. Puede ser I don't have. I don't, know, I don't have to study. Eh, un ejemplo. I don't have a drive. Bueno, compañero, ya voy a sacar otra oración. Claudia Dayana. Ah, yo tengo un ejemplo negativo, quiero ver. I don't have to buy groceries on weekend. Excellent. That's good. Diana? Um, yes, so I don't have to buy more clothes. I don't have to buy more clothes. No sé si se escucha bien. Por la huella. Este... Voy a repetir nuevamente. Sorry, no, yo no escuché bien, no sé si. Se ve, chico. Pero ya le digo, solo <ríe> voy a hacer un poquito aparte. No, no, sí. Um, I don't have to buy more clothes. Mm, sí, sí, sí. Excelente. Está bien, me llega. Eh, eh, creo que voy a poner una yo sería I don't have to watch movies alright guys let me have uh, one volunteer that wants to give me the examples let me have one volunteer Somebody has an example?
An example, somebody? Okay, go ahead. Carlos, you raise your hand. Okay. Um, for example, um, um, I, I had to uh, exercise uh, in the morning. Very good. I have to exercise in the morning. Good job. All right, Dalila, you raise your hand. Hi, teacher. I oh. have to go to a pool. I have to go to school. Okay, good. Yes, Gabriela. Okay. I have to go shopping. I have to go shopping. Excellent. Somebody else? Elena? Um, for example, I have to uh, practice English every day. Very good. I have to practice English. English. Every day. Every day. Good job. Thank you. Another example, Tamar. My example is I have to get up early. I have to get up early. Good job. Uh, Miguel, one example. Uh, thank you, teacher. Good evening. I Good have evening. to fold the, the clothes. I have to fold my clothes. Good job. And I have to pick up. I have to pick up a water bottle. Thank you for remembering that example. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rocio? Uh, for example, I have to go to cook on the weekend with my family. Okay, I have, I have to, to go to cook on the weekend where my. Okay, I have to go and cook with my family. Okay, good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and move forward, guys. We're gonna be looking at the next activity. Give me just a second. Uh, let me see, we're gonna. All right, let's take a look at the next one. For the next one, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Regular verbs. verbs. Can you hear? Additionally, I can, can, I, hear. Know, can everybody hear? Teacher. Which topic is used in a hear? real life setting? Let's yes. start by yes. listening to a conversation yes. title, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. 
Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W A T C H E D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart 
and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Right. I would like for us to oh, practice no. Do we this conversation over here. Listen and repeat. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Jennifer. Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, well on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shot. And, and, and then I visited my parents. And then, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So, I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I didn't just watch television all weekend. Okay. Uh, I would like for us to take the attendance uh, right now. Okay. Before we go to practice the conversation, uh, when I call your name, Please say present. This is okay. Number one, Alba. Alba. Alba is absent. The next one, Alison. Present teacher. Present. Uh, Andrea. Present. Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Claudia Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Dalila. Present teacher. Very good. Daniela. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Good job. Diana. Present. Thank you, Diana. Tell me. Present right. teacher. Thank you. Helena. I'm here. Thank you. Gabriela Ramirez. Good 
Gabriela Ramirez absent. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Hazer. Present teacher. Very good. Jefferson. I'm present teacher. Okay. Who is that? Hey. Yeah. Alba está presente, pero el, el Zoom me sacó. Oh, Aquí okay. estoy. Okay, okay. I'm Excellent, good. Alba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Alba present. Uh, Jefferson. Present teacher. Thank you. Joanna. Present. Awesome. Jose Montes. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Very good, Jose Rodriguez. Uh, Jocelyn Gallegos. Is absent. Kevin Flores. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, Crisia. Present teacher. Excellent. Laura. Present teacher. Good job. Miguel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, let me see the next one. Ovidio. Ovidio. Por ahí veo Ovidio. Dijo presente. Ah, sí, presente, teacher. Tengo mala señal. Okay. You. Uh, the next one is Pamela. Present. Good job, Pamela. Patricia. Dijo present en el chat. Dijo present en el chat. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Uh, Sabrina. Present teacher. Very good. Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Guadalupe. Tamar. Present teacher. Excellent. Telma. Present teacher. Good job. Okay. All right. So right now, what we're going to do is practice this conversation. We are going to practice this conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's go. Vamos a compartir, vamos a practicar la conversación. Eh, sí, Creo soy sí. Jennifer. Ella es, eh, vamos a ver. Empieza. Eh, Michael, who is Michael? Creo que esa era, ¿verdad? Sí. Y hago yo el de Jennifer. Ok. Ok. Ok, Santos, Jennifer y Ubidio, Alex. Este, Michael. Después voy yo. Yo start. Ok. No sé si me escuchan bien porque tengo mala señal. Confirma. Hola, hola, sí, sí. Se te escucha un poco bajo. Eh... Sí, un poco bajo, pero se te escucha. Vale. No le entiendo. Vale. Eh, Comienzo yo. Vale. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a busy weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. 
problem. Why? Oh, continue yo. This thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, on Saturday, I exer exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cl clean, clean. Did love clean, clean, is clean, clean, yes, clean, 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 uh, ED. clean, 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 shop, shop, shop. And then I visit my parents. Oh, good. And you, you do on Sunday. I studied for the test all day. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hola. Hola, Uh, okay. Um, okay, voy a hacer Michael ahora y te parece a todos ser siempre Jennifer. ¿Quién va a ser ese Jennifer? Uh, ¿Tú? ¿Otra vez? O si quieres cambien otra vez. Si quieres tú sé Michael y yo voy a ser Jennifer. Vamos a ah, okay. ok. Yo sería Michael. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Today, Really? Why? Well, on Saturdays, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shop pair and then I visited my parents. So what do you did you do on Sunday? I started for the best for those I started no I started for the test <laughs> all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television and all weekend. Okay. <laughs> okay, vamos a Entonces, cambiar. esa palabra, esa palabra de cleaner, creo que es cleaner, cleaner o cleaner. Es cleaner, Es cleaner. Es cleaner, es cleaner. Es cleaner, Visit, 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 uh, visit, shopper, mm -hmm. shopper, adiós, shopper, ajá, porque eso es lo que estamos viendo ahorita, la LD, ajá, de ajá. la forma en pasado, la forma en pasado, ajá, ok, entonces sería exercise, 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 una pregunta, ¿verdad? Que en el clean it. En el el shop. Fue como, ah. que, como los labios, ¿verdad? Como, um, se le escucha tíos. como bien, disculpe, se le escucha como, como, como bien lejos la voz, casi no se le entiende. Sí, es que tengo mala señal, casi que está gritando. Ah, sí, sí. Sí, sería más que todo la. Creo que la verdad es que el pasado lo que más cuesta es, por ejemplo, saber pronunciarlo. Los irregulares. Regular ver siento yo que es lo que más, por ejemplo, quiero ver otro, otro, otro. Exercise. Este. Sí, hay varios. Sí, cuesta porque eh, hay wow. con DT, TD, las pronunciaciones mm. HT, diferentes. Sí, pero es que también. Bueno, una de las cosas que puede, por ejemplo, watch, este, 
desde el inicio, yo siento que cuando uno pronuncia desde el inicio, tiene que saber pronunciar, porque me cuesta. Por ejemplo, es washed. Con, ¿Qué es washed? eh, es como... Eh, mi... All right, all right. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. All right. Miguel and Elena. Miguel is Michael. Elena is Jennifer. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I excited in the morning. Then exercise, roommate... exercise. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, again. Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the, in the morning. Then my roommate um, and I cleaned, did laundry and chopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. <laughs> Excellent, good job. I like that, I like that. I saw that. Histrionic, histrionic, histrionic. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. All right, thank you. Uh, let me have Gabriela and Jose. Uh, Jose, you're going to be Michael. Gabriela is going to be Jennifer. Mm, okay. Jose? Mi teacher or Jose Antonio? Uh, Jose uh, Montes. Okay. Okay, listo. Dice que lo puedo poner uh, ahí. Ya. Yeah. Mi Michael. Ya, yeah, your Michael. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had this weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean the laundry and shop. And then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Watched. Watched. Excellent. All right. Good job. Okay, guys. Now, for this activity, you're going to write a similar conversation here in the discussion forum. Va a escribir una conversación similar aquí en el discussion forum acerca de lo que usted hizo el fin de semana. In pairs. Any questions? All right, let's no. go. Sí, lo mismo. 
solo hay que dirigirnos a la plataforma para empezar a realizarlo. Aunque... Como para, para hacer sí. las preguntas. Eh, si quiere, primero eh, le pregunto yo y usted me dice que hizo el, el fin de semana y luego eh, cambiamos. Ok. Ok. Sí, sí, ok, ok. Hi, Diana. Did you have a good weekend? Mm, actually, it was re really tired, but I had a lot of work to do. What about you? What do you do in this weekend? Uh, on my weekend, I went to a taco and I oh. enjoyed it with my family. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Qué envidia. I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> what did you do on, on Saturday? On Saturday, I was in my house. I just go to shop a few materials for a few a few work. What really? Oh, excuse me. Really? And no, no, no. So what did you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I work all day. I didn't have free time. I was working all day. Sadly, I was working. <laughs> what do you do on Sunday, Claudia? On Sunday, I went to church and. After that, I I cook for for all a uh, week. Oh, you go to church? Uh, excuse me. Was the bad iglesia? Sí, sí. Ay, me identifico yo también. <laughs> Los domingos. Sí, era mañana, verdad? Sí. Sí. Creo que aquí también está Sabrina. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer unas preguntas a Sabrina. Hello. Hello. ¿Quién le pregunta, Claudia o yo? Eh, si gusta usted. Ok. Sabrina, what do you do in this weekend? In this weekend, I... In the Sunday... On Saturday, I went for a walk to the Coastal Plum Park with my family. Ooh. What do you do on Saturday? I don't know if you say Saturday, but... Yes, on Saturday, I went for a walk to the Coastal Plum Park with my family. Oh, and Sunday? What do you do on Sunday? And Sunday, I visited my my grandmother. Oh, that's so cool. Si quiere, puede preguntarnos a Claudia o a mí, a cualquiera de las dos. Para así practicar y que podamos hacer preguntas a, bueno, las tres y también podamos responder. Si usted puede hacernos preguntas. Claudia, what did you have on Sunday? Sorry, Claudia, what did you do on Saturday? Sorry, sorry. Uh, on Sunday, I went to church and after that I cook, cooked for all, all week and uh, that's all. <laughs> okay, it's very interesting. Um,
Sayana, what did you do on Saturday? On Saturday, I went to buy material for a work of my university. And only that, after that, I just had a little break. Okay, that's my. Okay. No sé si también quisieran hacer alguna pregunta aparte de qué hicimos. Bueno, no sé. Para así practicar un poquito más. Eh, o podemos hacer como una... Ok, guys. If you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. For the next activity, I would like for us to look at section number 4.4, knowledge check. Instructions, change the verbs in the parenthesis to the past to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already placed. So you're gonna finish the sentence over here. Lee quería hacerle una pregunta. Yes, para Lupe. Ok. Este, un, este, quería saber si cuando nos unimos a salas pequeñas, siempre está la grabación, siempre cuenta o sea, el tiempo o solo cuando estamos con usted. Porque sí. siempre que entro, cuando ya se cierran las salas, dice grabación en, en proceso. A sí, 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 se, sí se cuenta. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So for this activity, you are going to complete the sentence with the simple past. For example, on Friday night, I mm, for a phone call. What is the correct verb? What verb am I going to use? Wait. Waited. Very good, Jose. Waited. Excellent. Waited. So the sentence says, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call. All right. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to complete this activity with your group. Ready? Let's go. Hagámosla, hagámosla. Según lo que hemos estado viendo, sería el agregar de y di, ¿verdad? A los, a los verbos. Sí. Por ejemplo. Uh -huh. que... Este, no, pasar. Porque... Ajá, pasar, hacerlas, ponerlos en. Ya nos llamaron, ¿verdad? No. Oh. Ah, no. El teacher está aquí. Hello, teacher. Hey, what's going on? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. 
¿Por qué me asusta? Dios? ¿Qué? Ya, me, ya me llamaron, le digo. <risa> sí, no, todavía no. With, with, with the group, eh, eh, find the, the, the section. Are you finished? Uh, for the moment, no. Okay, all right. You will have five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. Tienes ahí la sección, Laura. No se escucha. Ah, sorry, que está a mi hijo aquí. Este ya lo voy a compartir. Ok, ok. Eh, no se escucha de nuevo. Permíteme, ya, ya te la mando. Esto sería verdad. Sí, es para, compartir, para compartirla donde lo doy, porque ya la tengo así como captura de pantalla. Ah, ya lo ibas a poner. Ajá, pero captura de ah, pantalla cuando estabas. Ajá. Ok, entonces. ¿A dónde, eh, ¿a dónde eh, eh, Ah, no, compartir, ahí me dice compartir algo. Voy a dejar de compartir entonces. Ok. Ya tienes ahí para poder darle. Ya. Quiero ver. Está, está. En el chat creo que se puede, ¿verdad? Eh, hay una parte ahí en donde, en donde dice para compartir pantalla. Ah, bueno, ahorita, ahorita. Ya está. Hola, ¿dónde lo...? All right, guys, it's already time to go. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.